Hello YouTubers, I'm Parwiz and this is our 15th video in Qt5 C++ GUI application development. In the previous video, we have learned how you can uh, create a print dialog in Qt5 C++. Uh, this is from the previous video. Uh, if you have not watched the previous video, I highly recommend you to watch the previous video. And I will add the previous video's link to the video description. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, create a color dialog in Qt5 uh, C++. Okay, I'm using the previous example. Uh, now I need to add another uh, menu in here. I call it uh, font. And for this, I need a font. Okay, now I'm going to add an icon for this. Before this, I want to add icon to my resource file. Uh, let me open an editor uh, now I'm going to add files and I have two icons for this uh, the f I have uh, I'm going to add this icon also this icon okay now save this okay uh, now open your main window and in the font uh, double click and change the icon from image resource to the font like this okay now also i'm going to add this in my in here okay now click on this and go to slot uh, triggers okay okay for creating a font dialog first you need to add uh, in your header file open your main window.h and in here you need to add uh, Q phone dialog like this okay now open your main window.cpp and in here first you need to create a boolean variable uh, I call it bool ok now after this make a Q font uh, Q font font Q font dialog it is an enum and we need uh, get font okay now it needs some parameters if you check let me bring it again uh, get font you can see that it needs a boolean a reference to the uh, our ok boolean variable and also uh, it needs that a uh, default uh, uh, default type uh, type of uh, font for example if you need times new roman you can add and also the another one is the parent okay first I need a reference to my uh, boolean variable like this and after this I'm going to add the okay uh, the font uh, type I call Q font okay and I need uh, the default I'm going to give it Helvetica and uh, and here you need to give um, crow next set as a type of font okay and the last one you need to add uh, the parent this okay now we are going to create an if uh, condition uh, if if it is okay and uh, now if this condition is true and the user selected a color and click on the OK. We want to set our text edit color, UI text edit, uh, our font. Sorry, not color, our font. Set font, and give your font variable in here. Okay. Uh, now this is our complete code. If I run this, and hopefully we don't get any error and. Uh, also I have I think I have forgot something in here and uh, maybe we will uh, see an error in here let me first run this and uh, it's building uh, now it will be complete yeah but it runs there is no error okay uh, I need in here I also you can give a default uh, font size I want to give it for example 12 okay now let me run this again 
and I'm waiting for this. Uh, this uh, is the default and uh, now it will be completed. Okay, now the build is complete. Uh, if I have a font and if I click on this you can see I have a font dialog and let me write something uh, please subscribe to my channel and like the video now if I select this and click on the font and if I choose for example 16 and if I choose it bold click on OK now you can see the font is changed uh, thank you guys uh, if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe uh, the channel and also please like the videos